everybody, my name is Mitchell Kai Lum, and I'm coming from the sunny beaches of Honolulu, Hawaii. Today, it is a pleasure to be standing here presenting for you my Bacardi Legacy cocktail. Four years ago, I left those sunny beaches. I know, who would ever do that, right? <laughs> but I left in the pursuit of becoming a professional bartender. Now, over the course of several months, I taught myself of a bartender in my basement. I practiced, I practiced new cocktails, and when I was ready, I bought that one-way ticket halfway around the world. Since then, I've been working in Australia, New Zealand, and Thailand, which is the country I'm representing today. Now, thanks to Bacardi Legacy, I've not only fulfilled that dream of becoming a professional bartender, but I've been able to fly back to Hawaii just last week before arriving here in San Francisco. I was able to walk up to my parents, look them dead in the eye, and tell them I have not become a raging alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> now, I do want to thank my family for being here today for the huge support. Without them, I wouldn't be able to be standing up here. And mom, I can already tell you are crying. Please stop, okay? You can make me cry, wait about five and a half hours, okay? Now, in the years I've been away, you really come to appreciate what it is that makes up your home, whether it's the place, or the people, or the things, or the food that you eat. So for me, I wanted to represent this in my cocktail, something that's reminiscent of Hawaii and will share and transport those who drink it to Hawaii with me. My cocktail is called the Haole. The Haole is the Hawaiian word which means foreigner. And as my status as a foreigner, this is why I've named it such. Now, in 1960, when the Bacardi family left Cuba, they themselves were foreigners to Puerto Rico, Mexico, and even the US. And as foreigners, they were able to strengthen their family name, create not only a passion, but a legacy that has now seen its eighth generation. I want my status as a foreigner to be my strength, to create a legacy of my own with my cocktail, the Hawaii. Now in Hawaii, we have the most fresh and succulent fruits available, the most popular of which is our pineapple. Now, as a kid, I would eat pineapple nearly every day from our plate lunches at school to down by the beach. So the sweetness of my childhood, I wanted to add in the form of pineapple syrup. Now, this syrup is made from two parts sugar, one part water, and one part fresh pineapple, which complements the tropical flavors of Bacardi, Carta Blanca's, banana, and coconut milk. My next ingredient is gonna be freshly squeezed lemon juice, where it's acidity, and vibrancy really emphasize and brighten those flavors of vanilla and almond of Bacardi Carta Blanca. Beautiful. Now, show of hands in here. How many people have been to Hawaii, seen Hawaii on TV, or seen a picture of Hawaii? <laughs> All right, that's just about every one of you. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, if you have, I'm sure you would have seen amazing flowers. Beautiful flowers spreading over the valleys, spreading over the mountains. Well, I wanted to incorporate these flowers in my cocktail by using a white vermouth. Manchino Bianco vermouth emphasizes elderflower, chamomile, and angelica which combined with Bacardi Carta Blanca's violet, rose, and orange blossom really unite and create this floral bouquet reminiscent of the islands. Now, Don Fukuno Bacardi not only revolutionized the rum making industry in 1862 with his new and innovative rum making techniques, but he pioneered the way for innovators and bartenders to create some of the world's most iconic rum cocktails. Now, no bar would be complete without a bottle, or maybe even a hundred, <laughs> of Bacardi Carta Blanca. And this cocktail would certainly not be complete without it either. Now, people ask me all the time, do the women in Hawaii dress like how we've seen on TV? Well, I can't confirm the coconut bras or the grass skirts, but what I can confirm is that they do wear a flower in their hair. I wanted to represent this little bit of our culture by using a pineapple wheel as my garnish. As if to say, this is that flower, that delicate flower sitting above a beautiful body. To this body, I'll be adding new ice. 
and that my cocktail stays nice and cold. My last ingredient is going to be ginger ale. Ginger ale not only elongates this cocktail, but its spiciness will really emphasize and brighten that peppery undertone of Bacardi Carte Blanc. approachable cocktail that can be enjoyed and reproduced around the world. This is my legacy, to share with you a cocktail that allows its drinkers to see, to experience, to feel the beaches of Hawaii. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Holly. Bravo! <laughs> Woohoo!